For Sith Joab, the son of Zeruiah, understood that the heart of the king was turned to Absalom, and he sent to Tekoa, and took from thence a wise woman, and he said to her, Feign thee to mourn, and be thou clothed with a cloth of dole, and be thou not anointed with oil, and thou be as a woman by mourning, now in full much time, a dead man. And thou shalt, shalt enter to the king, and thou shalt speak to him such manner of words. And Joab put the words in her mouth. Therefore, when the woman of Tekoa had entered to the king, she fell before him on the earth and worshipped, and said, O king, keep thou me. And, she, and, and the king said to her, What hast thou of cause? And she answered, Alas, I am a woman widow, for mine husband is dead, and twain sons were, were of thine handmaid which debated amongst themselves in the field, and none was that might forbid them. And the one smote the t'other, and killed him. And lo, all the kindred riseth against thine handmaid, and saith, Give thou him to us that killed his brother, that we slay him, for the life of his brother whom he killed, and, what, and that we do away the heir. And they seek to quench my spark that is left, that the name dwell, to mine, dwell not to mine husband, and that remnants be not to him on earth. And the king said to the woman of Tekoa, And the king said to the woman, Go into thine house, and I shall command for thee. And the woman of Tekoa said to the king, My lord, the king, this wickedness be on me, and on the house of my father, for soth the king in his throne be innocent or guiltless. And the king said, Bring thou him to me, that against saith thee, and he shall no more add to that he touch thee. And she said, the king have mine on his lord God, and the next kinsman of blood, to take vengeance, be, multi be not multiplied, and they shall not slay my son. And the king said, The lord liveth, for none of the heirs of thy son shall fall upon the earth, for none of the hairs of thy son shall fall upon the earth. Therefore the woman said, Thine handmaid speak a word to the, my lord the king, and the king said, Speak thou. And the world woman said, why hast thou thought such a thing against the people of God? And the king spake this word, that he do sin, and bring not again his son who is cast out. All we die, and as waters that shall not turn again, we slide into the earth. And God will not, will not that a soul perish, but he withdraweth, and thinketh, lest he perish utterly, which is cast away. Now therefore come thou, that I speak to my lord the king this word, while the people is present. And thine handmaid said, I shall speak to the king. If any man king, if any manner the king do the word of his handmaid. If in any manner the king do the word of his handmaid. And the king heard the word that he should deliver his handmaid from the hands of all men that would do away me and my son together from the heritage of the Lord. Therefore thine handmaid say, that the word of my lord the king be made his sacrifice, that is, that the sentence given of him be pleasant to God, as sacrifice pleaseth God. For as an angel of the Lord, so is my Lord the King, that he be not moved by blessing, neither by cursing. Wherefore, any, wherefore, and thy Lord God is with thee. And the king answered and said to the woman, Hide thou not from me the word which I ask thee. And the woman said to him, Speak thou, my Lord the King. And the king said, whether the hand of Joab is with thee in all these things? The woman answered and said, By the health of thy soul, the Lord, the, my lord the king, neither to the left side, neither to the right side, is anything of all these things which my lord the king hath spoken. For thy servant Joab himself commanded to me, and he put all these words into the mouth of thine handmaid, that I should turn the figure of this word. For thy servant Joab commanded this thing. For sooth thou, my lord the king, art wise, as an angel of God that hath wisdom, that thou understand all things on earth. And the king said to Joab, Lo, I am pleased, and I have done thy word. Therefore go thou, and again call thou the, the child Absalom. And Joab fell upon his face to the earth, and he worshipped and blessed the king. And Joab said, Thy servant hath understood today, but I have found grace in thine eyes, my lord king, for thou hast done the word of thy servant. Therefore Joab rose up, and went into Geshur, and brought Absalom into Jerusalem. And the king said, Turn he again into his house, and see not he my face. Therefore Absalom turned again into his house, 
saw not the face of the king. Suddenly no man in all Israel was so fair as Absalom and full comely. From the step of the foot unto the top there was no whim in him. And inasmuch as he clipped more his hairs, by so much the more they waxed. But he was clipped once in the year, for his hair grieved him. When he clipped the hairs, he weighed the hairs of his head by two hundred shekels by common weight. And three sons and a daughter, Tamar by name, of seemly shape or excellent form, were born to Absalom. And Absalom dwelled in Jerusalem two years, and he saw not the face of the king. Therefore he sent to Joab, that he should send him to the king. And Joab would not come to him. Joab would not come. Yadu! Joab would not come. Absalom said to his servants, You know the field of Joab beside my field having ripe barley. Therefore go ye, and burn ye it with fire. Therefore the servants of Absalom burnt the, court, burnt the corn with fire. And Joab rose up and came to Absalom in his house and said, Why have thy servants burnt my corn with fire? And Absalom answered to Joab, I sent to thee and besought that thou shouldest come to me, and that I should send thee to the king, that thou shouldest say to him, Why came I from Geshur? It was better to me to have been there, therefore I beseech, that I see the face of the king, that if he is mindful of my wickedness, slay he me. Joab entered to the king and told to him, and Absalom was called, and he entered to the king, and he worshipped on the face of earth before him, and the king kissed Absalom.